Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the level 10 weapons that you can unlock for each class. Now, each class has its own individual rank aside from your player rank, and at level 10 you can unlock the ultimate gun for that class. Now, whether or not they are in fact the best gun for that class is something that we'll be discussing in today's video. Now, just about all the weapons in the game can be unlocked with a mere class level of rank 3. It doesn't take long to get a lot of the weapons that you're really trying to go after in this game. However, to get the final weapon, you have to progress all the way from rank 3 up to rank 10. There aren't really any unlocks in between there, so it's kind of a long haul. And to rank up your class, you pretty much just need to play the class PTFO. If you're a medic, heal people, revive them. If you're a support class, give them ammo. If you're an assault player, capture points and blow up tanks. Basically, just play your class, get as many points with them as possible, and you will rank them up. And the first rank 10 weapon I want to talk about today is for the assault class, and this is the Hellregel. This is a submachine gun that looks more like an actual machine gun itself. It's got this cool water-cooled barrel on the front of it. It's got a massive drum magazine that can hold 60 rounds. You only get two magazines though before you run out of ammo, so you do have to use it a little bit sparingly. Now pulling the stats from Simthick.com here, we can see that the Hellregel has a very good rate of fire at 650 rounds per minute. Not quite as fast as the Automatico, but it makes up for that with its ammunition capacity. Now just like every other SMG for the Assault class, this has a maximum damage of 23 and it shares the same minimum damage with the MP18 of 13.5. The drop off is very similar across all SMG weapons where it drops off at 40 meters. So in close quarters you'll need a maximum of 5 shots to drop your opponent, but at range you can need up to 8 shots to down your opponent. This gun is designed for close to medium range engagements and it absolutely tears it up. One of the best benefits of this weapon is the 60 round magazine. It's very hard in Battlefield to get multiple kills with one magazine on weapons just because a lot of the guns do a little bit less damage compared to previous games and so it can be trickier to get those multi kills. Not with the Hell Regale though, the rate of fire and the mag capacity allows you to drop entire squads before needing to reload. Now it has a bit of a longer reload than the other SMGs at almost 4 seconds and it also has the worst hip fire out of all the SMGs but that's not to say that its hip fire is bad and as you can see from my footage here, I'm getting plenty of kills using the hip fire. In my opinion, I think this is one of, if not the best assault SMG out there. Sure, the Automatico can kill people a little bit faster, but you're probably only going to get one kill per magazine with that SMG on average, where this one's going to let you burn through an entire squad, probably keeping you alive a lot longer to do even more damage. Without question, this is one of the best level 10 guns in the game and worth the work to get your assault class up to rank 10. Now, how about the recon class? Recon has proven itself to be one of the best anti-infantry classes in the game as there are plenty of big wide open maps in the game and snipers are incredibly good in Battlefield 1. So what is the level 10 sniper? Well, it's the Martini Henry. I actually already did a loadout video on this one and if you haven't seen that yet, it's definitely worth checking out. Now the appeal of the Martini Henry I think has just as much to do with the epic sound that it makes every time you take a shot as it does to the amazing sweet spot damage statistics. Every sniper rifle in the game has a sweet spot mechanic which means you can one shot somebody with a body shot at the appropriate range. The Martini Henry has one of the best sweet spots starting at 30 meters and ending at 80 meters. That means just about anybody at medium range from you will die from one shot to the body. Now what are the downsides of this rifle? Well you don't have any sort of magnified optic so it's going to be tricky to hit people at further ranges. You can increase the iron sights magnification to two times but that's about it. The other downside is that you have to reload between each shot, making it the slowest firing rifle in the game. Its muzzle velocity, as in the velocity of the bullet when it leaves the barrel, is 440 meters per second, which is incredibly slow for any weapon, let alone a sniper rifle, compared to, say, the Gewehr 98. That one has an 880 meter per second muzzle velocity, so literally twice the speed, which means that if you're trying to hit a moving target, you have to lead like crazy with this gun, which makes it pretty much unusable at further ranges and even moving targets you have to use a huge amount of skill to actually hit them. Now despite the Martini Henry having the slowest rate of fire, the slowest muzzle velocity, and no magnified optic options, there are a lot of people claiming that this rifle is overpowered. 
I would like to argue against that, at least when comparing to other sniper rifles in the game. If you want to say the Martini is overpowered, then you pretty much have to say like three or four other types of sniper rifles are also overpowered. When comparing this one side by side with the SMLE, the SMLE is a superior weapon in every single way other than the sweet spot is only smaller by about 10 meters. So instead of the sweet spot starting at 30 meters, it starts at 40 meters. Other than that, the SMLE has a 10 round magazine, has a higher muzzle velocity, higher rate of fire, and it has magnified optics. So really, I love using the Martini Henry. The sound alone is incredibly rewarding and fun, but I won't say that it is the best sniper in the game, and I wouldn't say that it's overpowered, at least when comparing to other rifles in the game. If you want to say that it's overpowered, you could make an argument to say that the sniper class in general is overpowered, and you might actually have a pretty compelling argument at that point. But for the most part, the Martini Henry is a good gun. It's very fun to use. It's definitely worth the effort to try and get your recon class up to rank 10, but it's not necessarily going to put you on a higher skill plane or a higher scoreboard than using any other sniper rifle in the game. Moving on to the next level 10 weapon, we have the Medics Selbstalader 1906 Factory. And while you may or may not like this rifle, it's certainly worth ranking up your Medic class to level 10 at the very least, as Medic is one of the most useful classes in the game right now. Now, when you actually check out the stats on this weapon, this is one of the the biggest head scratchers in the game. I'm surprised that DICE not only made this the level 10 gun, but just left the stats at where they are right now. Put it this way, it takes three shots to kill any opponent, provided that you're not getting a headshot in there, and it's only got five rounds in a magazine before you need to reload. So that means even if you hit all of your shots, you can't kill two opponents unless you're mixing headshots in there, which makes this gun practically unusable to me. I mean, I used it quite a bit and I did okay, but I was really only able to survive most engagements if I was able to single out targets or just somehow get lucky and stay alive long enough to reload this weapon and take out another opponent. Now, aside from the very small magazine capacity on this weapon, the rest of the stats really aren't that bad. It's got a 299 round per minute rate of fire, 40 damage maximum, 35 minimum. So no matter what range you hit somebody at, you're still going to be getting a three shot kill. And in close quarters, you'll be doing 80 damage with two shots. So if they have a little bit of damage done to them, you can potentially two shot them down. That being said, the magazine capacity is just straight up holding this weapon back. Unless they redid the damage and made it so it did like 50 maximum, so you could one shot headshot in close quarters and two shot body shot. I don't really see any way of this weapon being even remotely competitive with what's already out there. The Medic has some incredibly good guns. The Selbstalader M1916 has some incredibly good stats to it. It's basically the same damage stats to it, but then there's one with a 26 round magazine. I mean, what the hell, you're comparing same damage stats basically, but with 26 rounds instead of five rounds. It might have a slightly slower rate of fire, but you get options like optics on there and all this other stuff, and that gun is great. It's an amazingly fun weapon to use, and you're like, hey, let's take all that ammunition and just throw it out the window. Here's five rounds. Try and make that work. It doesn't work, Dice. So you're going to have to find a different way to balance this weapon and the other five round magazine medic weapons in the game. You can't have five rounds in a gun and require three shots to kill your opponent. It's just never going to be competitive unless everybody's gun also sucks that much. So the Medic's level 10 unlock is probably one of the biggest letdowns. Let's check out the supports. This interesting looking gun is called the Hewitt Automatic and it's also got low weight added to it. I'm not sure if at one point DICE was gonna have multiple variations of this gun and they took it out but left in the low weight tag on this weapon. But for whatever reason, it's just called the Hewitt Automatic Low Weight. It's got a relatively small magazine size for a machine gun of 26 rounds with a detachable drum magazine. It's got a relatively low rate of fire at 475 rounds per minute, making it one of the slower firing machine guns in the game and also one of the lesser damaging weapons in the game. Combine that with the relatively small magazine capacity of 26 rounds compared to the other LMGs, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to get a lot of multiple 
multi-kills with one magazine, causing you to reload a lot. It's got 21 maximum damage, which starts to drop off pretty steeply at 20 meters and then ends up at 15 max damage at 40 meters. So even at range, this gun isn't gonna be doing that much damage and you'll really have to dump your full magazine to drop people at those further ranges. Fortunately, the recoil on this weapon is not very much at all, so you should be able to land quite a few shots at the further ranges, so you might be able to use this somewhat effectively as a medium range support weapon. And since there is only one variation of this weapon, you have the option for some very simple iron sights, or you can fix the AA sights on here, which is what I'm using right now, uh, which I think are a little bit easier to use, even though they look kind of funky. There doesn't seem to be any sort of bipod element going on here. It's probably one of the more accurate machine guns overall. You can fire it while standing, crouching, even running if you want to. The hip fire is not too bad either. So it's a relatively versatile weapon, but uh, if you're looking for something that's really strong at medium range, there are better machine guns out there. If you're looking for something that's strong at close quarters, there's definitely machine guns better than this one out there. If you want something with good ammo capacity, basically any other machine gun, other than this one, aside from the bar, but the bar's got its own benefits as well. It's generally pretty hard to recommend this machine gun as it doesn't really do anything amazingly well. It's got kind of a cool look to it that sets itself apart from other weapons in the game. But other than that, there's nothing that I'd be like, oh, I need the Hewitt to like punch through this line over here or take out these guys at medium range. There's pretty much better weapons available to the support class. Anyway, it's worthwhile trying to get all your classes to rank 10 regardless. They all have their own benefits benefits. As for the rank 10 weapons, I would highly recommend the assault one and the recon class is a lot of fun. When it comes to medic and support, you might want to save your war bonds for other unlocks. I hope this video helps you guys figure out which weapons you want to work towards and which ones not to waste your war bonds on. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.